now we will see the fin equation you can see the figure of a fin here fin here there is a fin here having a length of l and this is my base temperature t0 and this is my direction x along the length of the fin and this is my q conducted at uh, x this is q conducted at x plus delta x and this is my area of cross section this is my area of cross section i have marked blue sorry red and this is my width of this small element that is delta x and this is my perimeter okay so uh, 2 into this side plus 2 into this side that is going to be my perimeter and this blue marked area is through which the the convection takes place now by first law we can say that the rate of heat conducted at x into this element is equal to the heat heat transfer by conduction at x plus dx plus whatever heat is transferred through the uh, through convection that means if for uh, 10 kilojoule of energy is coming into this element suppose 8 kilojoules are uh, is leaving this element then the rate of uh, heat convected will be 2 kilojoule okay so we can apply the conservation principle there now i have written here the rate of heat conducted into the element at x is equal to rate of heat conduction from the element at x plus dx plus rate of heat convection from the element mathematically i can write down this as q conducted at x is equal to q conducted at x plus delta x plus q convected now q convected can be written as h a delta t by using the newton's law of cooling Now h can be written as this will be h infinity suppose let it be this h is h infinity and area is what this is the perimeter and this is my delta x small length delta x and p into delta x will give all this area through which the convection takes place so that is p into delta x and delta t suppose that temperature at this point is t and uh, ambient temperature is t infinity so it will take this form that is t minus t infinity. Now we can rewrite this equation as Q conducted at x plus delta x minus of Q conducted at x plus Q convected is equal to 0. Now if I substitute it for Q convected this will be H infinity P delta x into T minus T infinity is equal to 0. Now, uh, if I divide this equation by with delta x, this will give Q conducted x plus delta x minus Q conducted at x divided by delta x plus H P T S minus T infinity is equal to 0. By Fourier law, Q conducted is equal to minus K A D T by D x. Now, by definition of uh, differential, we can write down this as d q conducted by dx plus h p t s minus t infinity is equal to 0 and this implies d by dx of minus k a d t by dx plus h p t s minus t infinity is equal to 0. Now this will give if I uh, uh, cancel the minus sign this will be d by sorry d by dx k a which is cross section area I will denote it by using d a c d t by dx minus h p t s minus t infinity is equal to 0. Again this is equal to d square t by dx square minus h p by i will take this i will divide by uh, this whole equation by k a c k a c 
t s minus t infinity is equal to zero. Now I introduce the theta which is equal to t s minus t infinity. So if I uh, if I derive it d theta by d x or d square theta by d x square will give and t s is the surface temperature which is a function of x and this will be this will be zero this uh, if i derive it for the first time this will be zero and this will be dts by dx if i derive it for the second time this will be d square so d square ts by dx square if i substitute this ts is the surface temperature which is a function of uh, x and it is the same and i can substitute this as d square theta by dx square minus hp by kac into theta is equal to 0. Again, if I say HP by KAC is equal to M square, I can write the equation in this form that is d square theta by dx square minus M square theta is equal to 0. So, this is my fin equation. So, this is a linear homogeneous second order differential equation with constant coefficients. So, the, the fundamental theory of differential equation states that uh, such an equation will have the uh, solution as theta as a function of x is equal to c1 e raised to mx plus c2 e raised to minus mx. If I uh, resubstitute or uh, substitute back to this equation, I will get the same zero. So, you can look at it. Now normally the 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 base plate will be having a temperature uh, t t b we can say t b and uh, the fin uh, the other end of the fin may be have uh, may be having several possibilities that is including infinitely long fins and negligible heat loss that means it is adiabatic tip there is no heat transfer the tip and specific temperature and uh, convection so there may be so many possibilities at the tip of uh, uh, sorry uh, at the tip of the fin and this base temperature we uh, we normally know now we will discuss about different cases of the fin tips